Hey, while you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. What's going on, brother? What's your name? Cashmere. Okay, Cashmere. We over here, we going through uh, scriptures to uh, edify the young brother right here. Do you know you, you know your nationality according to the Bible? Yeah. What, what's your what's your nas what's, what would you say your nationality is according to the Bible? Uh, uh what's, what's the Bible? Yeah, according to the Bible, what, what, what would be your nationality? Uh, I'm like, uh, make sure you make sure you come back. Make sure you come back so we can you can finish here and this out the Bible. A dollar sign. You said what? A dollar sign. A dollar sign. Yeah. Maybe. I, I said, uh, what is your what is your nationality? Uh, God give me name. Uh, my So look, listen, brother, when you go in to a job and you fill out an application, they got a list of so-called races and nationality listed on the paper. Black. What would is that what you pick as a nationality black? Listen, a lot of our people think we black. A lot of our people think we so-called African American, but you gonna realize today that you are Israelite according to the Bible. That's right. That's, right. That's what God called us. That's our nationality. And we gonna prove that to you. Give me that. Give me uh yeah, read Deuteronomy 28, 28, 15 again. It's book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Uh-huh. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hurt unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, hey, bro, stay and listen which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So this is a prophecy to identify who we are as a people, who you are, who you are, and who we are. And this brother too, hey bro right here walking off, check it out, give me a couple minutes couple minutes who we are as a people the Bible's read it again the Bible say that all these curses should come upon us read it but it shall come to pass uh -huh. if thou will not hurt unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments so it said we have to observe to do all the commandments that's in the Bible read and his statutes which I command thee this day that all So all, if we did not listen to God, that all the curses would come upon us and overtake thee. That's the that's what's written in the Bible. So before you get, if, when you read Deuteronomy one to fourteen, right. it gives a list of blessings that would happen to the nation of Israel if we kept God's commandments. So would you say our nation today is blessed or are we cursed? Blessed. We blessed. So how would you say we blessed as a nation of people today? Now, I'm not, I'm, I'm not talking about one person. I'm talking about all of us together as a nation of people. Right. Waking up in the morning, feeling good, with a smile on your face. So let me ask you this question. Is living in a project building on top of each other blessed? Uh, you know, if they got some money. If having to pay taxes to another nation of people out of your paycheck, is that blessed? No, that's not a blessing, brother. We curse that we're going to real. I'm going I'm to prove out of the Bible to let you know that we are a cursed people. Read that. Give me uh, verse 32. Give me verse 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. The Bible say our sons and our daughters should be given unto another nation of people to let you know that we are in, indeed a cursed people and that we what? We are the Israelites. That's your nationality. Did, did that ever happen? Have our sons and our daughters been given to another nation of people? Huh? You got a question, man? You say you think so? You got a question. 
There you go. The brother hit it on the, the brother hit it on the head. He said foster homes, uh, child protective service, all these other different entities. Read verse 32 again. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thine head. And it shall be no might in our head. So what this is warning to is exactly what you said. Where the Child Protective Service comes, they able to take the kids, right. and it be no might in thy hand to get the kids back. When you watch the movie Roots, when you watch 12 Years of Slavery, you watch all these slavery movies, was the kids not taken from their mamas and snatched from their parents and sold to other nations of people, given to other nations of people? If they had a plantation in Mississippi, they'd take your kids and sell them down in West Virginia. Back in slavery days, you had no power. The Bible is prophesying that that would happen to the Israelites. You can't find black in the Bible as a nationality, as a nation of people. Black is a color. That's all it is. It's, it's the color of my pen. Read, uh, jump down to verse 45. We're going to get some more, we're going to get some more curses to further draw the point. So after you leave here, without a shadow of a doubt, you you and you, you would uh, be able to identify, say, right. they read it out the Bible, and I know that what they read fits my people, fits me as an individual. Read verse 45. Let's see if we can do the writing. Chapter 28, verse 45. For oh, all these curses, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. And say, all Curses should come upon the Israelites and overtake the Israelites until the Israelites be destroyed, which is the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and the Native Americans. We make up the 12 tribes of Israel that you see on this side. Read. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Because we hearken is not unto the voice of the Lord our God, which is the God of Israel, the God of the Bible. Read. To keep his Commandments. To do what? Keep his commandments. To do what? Keep his commandments. So that's why the curses came upon us. That's why all these tr atrocities that you see on this side, we was packed on slave ships like sardines, defecate the urine on the urine uh, uh, on each other. Be why? Because we broke God's commandments. It was prophesied that God would bring the curses upon the children of Israel for going away from his commandments. So that's why you see us having to pay taxes to another nation right. of people, having to uh, be on welfare, having to be down in the bottom, in the ghettos, redlining, going through poverty. God never created the Israelites to do that. Right. Like I said before, if you read from Deuteronomy verse 1 to 14, we were supposed to be blessed and rule the earth. Right. But we went away from God's commandments, right. so now the curses has come upon us. And the curses are still upon us now today. Read. To keep his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, uh -huh. which he commanded thee, uh -huh. and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. For what? For a sign and for a wonder. What's your name, bro? Terrell. Terrell. Trail. What's your name again, bro? Cashmere. Trail Cashmere. Phoenix. Trail Cashmere Phoenix. What does that cricket sound right there behind you let you know? On that building across the uh, across the parking lot. What does that cricket sound let you know? That you can get a ball from right there. Same thing with that uh bubble. What that let you know? That metro. Metro, is that a phone place? What do the Western Union sign right there on the back of the building let you know? Right. You can go get some money out there. You can go cash a check. Read it again. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. It say, and they shall be upon the Israelites for a sign. What is the day? What is the day that should be upon the Israelites that it's talking about? Read it again. Start from uh, the curse. Verse 45. For oh, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee uh -huh. and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. Uh -huh. Because thou hearkenest not 
unto the voice of the Lord thy God to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee and they shall be upon thee for a son. So what should be upon the Israelites for a son? What you say, Trill? The curses? The curses, there you go. The curses should be upon us all sides. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision the tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.